Today on the channel, we take a step back into the Masterverse line with the Mattel Creations exclusive Vicron 3-in-1 figure. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Welcome back to the channel for another Masters Universe unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we head back to the Masterverse for the Mattel Creations exclusive Vicron. But for all your non-exclusive Mattel Creation needs, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. Anything over $79 will ship free. Got to get a deal out there. And of course, we're going to do this like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And this is an interesting one is I thought I ordered this the day it dropped. For whatever reason, my uh, payment must not have went through. I closed my browser early. I'm not exactly sure what happened because I'm like, why haven't I got mine yet? And I went to look and investigate. I put the old Inspector Gadget hat on and I investigated. I said, go, go, Gadget Arms. Grabbed my phone, looked through everything, couldn't find it. So then I said, well, I better order it. And thankfully, we've seen a lot of these things sell out. Thankfully, this did not sell out, so it was still available for me to purchase. Picked it up, and it shipped like two days later. Here we are. All is right in the world. I got my Vicron in hand here. And this is a perfect Mattel Creations exclusive because this is about as deep of a cut as it does get. The first time we got Vicron, this three-pack, we'll call it here for now. We'll explain all this was in the Masters Universe Classics line. As you guys know, just a classics guy. We actually unboxed this Masters Universe Classics figure on this very YouTube channel, so check out that video if you want to see that one. But definitely an interesting one. It is a three-in-one figure. It's got three different looks, and this, of course, as the story goes, back in the day when they were trying to figure out what is a He-Man, these were three of the different concepts for He-Man. He you got like an army guy, a barbarian, and like a space guy, basically, to dumb it down as far as you can. And that was the three right here. So what they did is, in this figure and the classics, it was almost a three-in-one. You got one figure with three different outfits. So in my brain, I'm like, I need to buy three of these. And then I said, wait a minute, hold the phone, got to get a deal. And I had made a, a, a bet or a plan or a plan of attack. How about that? A plan of attack with myself. I said, I'm not going to buy three of these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple of clearance He-Man figures. Of course, these He-Mans, you can still get these for $15, maybe even cheaper if you look around. I got two extra ones of these. I'm going to strip him of all of his stuff, and I'm going to use the two extra outfits, and I'm going to throw them on these He-Man figures. And, of course, we'll do that for the glamour shots, things like that. Way, way cheaper to do it this way. Yes, there'll be a couple of differences in color, but at the end of the day, I'm about saving some money, getting a deal out there, and I thought this was a, a smarter way to go to business, to, to go to the office. There you go. So let's get down to it. Let's check this one out. This came in just a shipper box right over the top of this one, and it was damaged, but this was not damaged at all. I don't know how I got so lucky there, but uh, I got that horseshoe uh, firmly planted once again, as uh, people do say from time to time. Uh, but definitely very killer artwork on this one. Very colorful, very cool wraparound artwork here. You got lasers, you got axes, you got all kinds of adventure going on. Definitely, definitely looking cool. And then on the back front, I guess technically the back, you got all three different looks there. You got the setting sun there. Oh, we're just missing a samurai is all we're missing, really. Brit, somebody call for Slamurai. Get Slamurai in here. Who knows? But definitely cool packaging. Love the artwork on this. Masterverse on the top. UPCs, Jibber Jabber on the bottom. And then this is kind of like a shoebox is how this one opens up. And you got a little bit of a blurb right there out of the shoebox for old Vicron. Ultimate attorney and champion, the legend of Vicron's glory in the gladiator arena known far and wide across Eternia. After every victory, he claimed a trophy, the armor and weapons of his fallen opponents. After mastering each armor's battle techniques, Vicron became a one-man arsenal, defeated everyone who dared challenge him, no matter the foe or terrain. So that's kind of a cool little backstory that he beat somebody and then took their armor, took their weapons, and uh, we're off to the races there. Uh, like a young man of war. Man of war, there you go. But a very cool background on this. I wasn't expecting this. That's very cool. Look at those skeleton warriors there. We're getting these in the Origins. Could we get these in the Masterverse line? That could be a possibility there. But a nice cool scene in the background. And then this is more of a spacey type scene back here. But a very cool little uh, background there. You can use the display and stuff. I'm here for that. I'm here for that at the end of the day. 
Get a little locker here, very G.I. Joe classified style. Uh, just a little box here. Oh, it shows everything in here. Contents, one, 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 one. Shows all the different accessories we get for old Vicron here. So we'll pull all that stuff out as well. It's all in there. It's all in the box. So definitely going to go through all that as well. We're going to stick this off to the side. See you later. Uh, the box, definitely a box is a keeper. This is a perfect type of thing. I don't like to keep a lot of packaging, as you guys know, uh, but these are perfect for storing your weapons. You get a baggie of your Masterverse figures, you put them in here, this is how you know where to go get your weapons, things like that, or throw them in here loose if you want to. Whatever you want to do, it's your collection at the end of the day. See you later, goodbye. Then we get old Vicron right out of the package there, looking like the barbarian he is. Looking very good there, looking very cool. We got all the twist ties going on. It's the rope twist ties, too. They're, they're keeping it good for the environment is what they're doing and I'm gonna just clip it all here and get it all out and we're gonna be talking all things Vicron here in a second now he's got three looks as we did say it's uh, the spaceman the kind of G.I. Joe I don't even know if you call it G.I. Joe but tank look I guess we'll call it and then of course the barbarian to me uh, maybe it's just your He-Man bias. You know, when you think He-Man, you think more of the barbarian type uh, of a character. So that is always going to be my favorite in the He-Man variety. There's no doubt about it. But still like the option. Still like the option to choose. And like I said, that's why I got those other He-Man figures. So I can display each one of these looks. Get the most out of what you want to do right there. See you later. Goodbye. All right. I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to dive in here. We're going to look at him straight up first. Then we're going to dive into these accessories. And I'll have glamour shots for all these throughout, as we usually do, of course. And we'll continue on with that. But we got accessories here. I'm trying to think. I think that goes... All right. Some of these things are mixed up a little bit. All right. All right. I think I know what I'm doing. I think I know what I'm doing. Maybe. I don't know. Verdict's still out sometimes. We got two hands. We got two fists of fury. I don't care who you are, what kind of He-Man you are. You need fists. So he's got two fists, two gripping hands. There you go. You can choose your own adventure right there. Then we get the battle axe here. That seems to be this version's uh, weapon of choice. So the nice battle axe as I give it a throw. All in gray. Nice sculpting in this one. Even got the dings and dents on the blades. Things like that. Definitely a very cool looking axe. Definitely different than your battle armor He-Mans. Things like that as well. So I'm here for that. Then we get old Vicron out here, and man, he's got some soft goods going on. He's got some nice, soft uh, rabbit fur. Is this white rabbit fur? I don't know. You guys tell me once again, but he's got that going there on the back. Uh, it's almost like a cape. You could definitely call that a cape, I think, at the end of the day. Definitely very, very cool. I'm here for that as well. He does got his vest, very He-Man-like, and of course, the Eternia loincloth. You can't go anywhere in Eternia without picking one of these. They're selling them on every corner, apparently. And then he's got a nice belt across there. Got very, very cool uh, guards there on his uh, wrist and his forearms. Got the little H in there for He-Man. Got the little He-Man classic red little dot there. Terry Steinbach uh, issued shin guards down here as well. Got to have those. Got the furry boots like we're used to with a He-Man figure. Definitely can see the origins of He-Man here. I think somebody sees this. They're going to say, that's He-Man or Conan the Barbarian. And Conan probably a little bit more because of the black hair. Most people think of Conan the Barbarian with the black hair. Got the big muscles, all that kind of fun stuff there. Let's dive into the head sculpt on this one. Got the long black hair off the sides. I thought this helmet would be removable. It is not removable. Got the little spike on the top there. Definitely an interesting look. Definitely looks like... Uh, a uh, He-Man type character. There's no doubt about it. Uh, you can definitely see where that uh, morphed into and where they would get the idea. And it's a nice blueprint for the future is what this really was. Uh, but definitely looks like uh, a barbarian or a He-Man, no doubt about it. And got a very cool helmet, a very fighting combat-like helmet there. Uh, articulation arms go all the way around. You do get the bicep cut. Double-jointed, pinless elbows. The hits being played. Hands back, forth, side to side. Waist articulation. Hula hoop at the top. Big ol' He-Man splits if you need them. Thigh cut, double-jointed pinless knees, boot cut, ankles back forth, side to side, all the usual stuff. And of course, all this stuff on here is removable for him because you want to turn him into the different outfits, you can remove all this stuff. So I think that is very, very cool. But I'm going to keep him like this one here just because it's easy. I'm going to put all the other stuff on the He-Man stuff for the glamour shots. But definitely fits on a ringside collectible stand. Make sure you go to Mattel, use discount code Kyle, save yourself 10%. These are not in stock currently. They will be uh, in the near future, the near future. But now let's dive into some of this extra stuff we got going on here. And I guess we're going to look at the army guy first is where we're going to go. That's where we're going to go. The tank, the tank-like thing, body parts or whatever you want to call it. So we do got some interesting uh, stuff. So we got... 
I'm going to try to figure out what all these pieces are, I guess, on the fly. But we got the big helmet here. Very interesting. I guess that's where we're going to start. The big old helmet for him. You got the weapons that turn on the side. You got the little blaster cannons. Very on point, of course. Very scientific army, maybe, is what this is. Almost looks like the Road Ripper, Ground Ripper head on the top here as well. I don't know if that's uh, meant to be that way. I would think it is. Uh, almost like a little beak here, but I do love the movement on the jaw. And, of course, it moves the weapons as well. So that is very nice. So you just plop that on his head, I guess. That's how that would go. You just stick it on his head like that. So easy enough. Easy enough right there. So we do get that. Then we do get some very, very official forearm guards. And it looks to be shin guards here. Yes, forearm and shin guards both. So, okay, we get two forearm guards here all in green. Of course, uh, i got to protect those forearms and those wrists, so we do get those. Then the shin guards, very, once again, Terry Steinbach style. Of course, that beautiful green color we love. Uh, we've got that one there. Then I believe these probably fit in over the shoulder. I would imagine little shoulder guards on the side get two of those and then of course a chest protector of course once again very much like a young terry steinbach got to protect the chest you don't want to uh the heater from dave stewart hitting you right in the chest you don't want that it's a bad day at the office but you do get that right here for that one there definitely interesting it's just weird to think that what would have become of he-man if they would have went that direction would it have lasted would have it uh transcended the years my guess is probably not. I, I don't know, but I guess hindsight is twenty twenty, as they always do say. But there is the little second look of Vicor. If you want to do that, uh, you can do it that way. Now, the last one has always been kind of my least favorite. Uh, maybe you guys are the same. Feel free to rank them in your favorite order if you want to in the comments below. But this is more of like the space suit, uh, spaceman type look on this one. And this is actually an extra head. So it's a helmet, but it just remove that head. You pop that off, pop this in in its place. So that is a little bit different there. But it's very uh, futuristic very scientific very fighter pilot like of course you got the hose coming down into the chest like a uh, young airborne ripcord or something like that from gi joe who knows but you got the orange and yellow uh definitely interesting colors here like a young uh, oklahoma state or something shout out to the oklahoma state the okies and all that fun stuff uh but definitely silver yellow yellow white white i'm getting the oakland A's back in my head and orange colors definitely looking good this definitely does pop Definitely looks cool. He's got the white belt as well on here. So that goes over the top. And then you got his backpack. So he can fly through the air if he needs to. It looks like these wings can be removed if you really want them to. They just plug into the back here. Nice kind of clear plastic there. All gray in the middle. It's the jet pack. He could be flying through space and maybe time too, like a young Hawkwind if he needs to. We got a, a forearm guards on this one. White and orange attack looking really, really nice. I'm here for this as well. So you got to protect those forearms, like we said earlier. Got a very futuristic orange weapon here. Got the orange, a little bit of silver there. It looks like something Zodak would have. Don't call him Zodiac. It is Zodak, but very futuristic kind of weapon there. Fits with the Spaceman theme. And I guess this probably... This weapon actually went back to the last one. So this didn't go with the Spaceman. This went with the Army Man. So this would be his weapon of choice right here. All in silver. Got a little hinge on it as well. Definitely an interesting looking weapon. I don't, know, I don't know what to think of this one here. Definitely crazy. It's got like kind of the Road Ripper, Ground Ripper face here all in silver. Uh, but it looks like he just kind of holds that up and gives him one of those. Like a young Arnold Schwarzenegger or something there. I don't know. Very, very interesting. And I like what they're doing here, the three-in-one. Hardcore fans, they're buying four, one in the package, one for each look. But what I'm going to do, of course, like I said, in the glamour shots you've hopefully seen throughout this video, use these two He-Mans, take all their stuff off, plop this on there, and bam, there you go. Because they're very, very similar uses here. It's the same loincloth going on, same body mold. Of course, the heads don't even matter when you're moving those things around. You get the same boot mold as well. The only difference is just a little bit of coloring differences. The loincloth, the belt, of course, and the boots, just a little bit of color difference. But it works. It'll work at the end of the day for me and what I'm trying to do here. So there it is. That's a cheap little hack if you want three of these figures. Look for this guy. Heck, you could probably go to your local toy store and find one of these used loose. That's a great way to go about business as well there. So choose your own adventure. Choose your own display adventure at the end of the day. But what are your guys' thoughts on this one? Is this worth picking up? Did you pick up three of these? Did you do what I did? Or did you pass all together? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And you know what else? Before I get too far into that... You you know what I got to do? I almost forgot to do it because you guys know at the end of the day, I always say it. I am a classics guy. So we got the classics version right here. 
So we got all three versions. I did buy three of these in the Classics line. So we got all three versions here. Definitely a little bit different on this one too. He does got the uh, army uh, tank head going on, I guess we call it. So that is the biggest difference between the three of these and this one. There's definitely some big differences there. But I was very happy to have all three of these. And of course for Glamour Shots, we'll compare all three of these guys together with their counterparts from the Classics line and this version as well. So I definitely wanted to not forget that in the grand scheme of things here. But definitely an interesting one definitely a cool one definitely in a lot of ways history of the toys it is a big toy history moment because you know if they sat there what if they went a different direction where would we be all these years later would he-man resonate the same way it does now it'd be an interesting discussion if we could go back in time it'd be an interesting thing to find out but definitely cool definitely something different and definitely something i felt that worked really good as a mattel creations exclusive but what say you guys and gals out there once again we're going to do it all over again what are your thoughts on this let me know put them in order of your three uh which one's your first favorite second favorite third favorite let me know in the comments down below and of course you made it this far don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the old notification bells we got videos every single day and then some even more content including early access to videos like this over on the old patreon channel patreon your best way to support this fair youtube channel and all the stuff you get over there with that don't forget about prostates.com search kyle peterson and don't forget about social media sir paul 64 on the x the underscore kyle underscore peterson on threads and on instagram so for vicron i'm kyle see you guys all real soon